Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. In my previous video, in part 1 on how to convert your Windows 10 64-bit home from Chinese to English, I presented you step, step 1, step 2 on how to prepare for this reformatting and reinstallation. Now as I, just a recap, first you have to get a USB flash drive. You need to download the Windows 10 Home 64-bit installer from the Windows website, and you have to. You can download the MiNote drivers and save it in your USB as well, and you can also extract your orig original product key for your Windows Chinese. Now, after that, you have to reboot your system and plug your USB in the in the port. Okay, I have a sample USB here. Okay, so you can plug it in your in your drive. Okay, so once you plug it in, you need to restart your computer. Okay, when you restart your computer, you have to press F2. F2 is the, the key for you to enter the BIOS. Now, of course, the BIOS is the basic input-output system, or the UEFI in the modern computer, wherein you can tweak some settings, you can adjust some time, and of course, more importantly, the boot order. Now, we'll take this opportunity to show you the BIOS of Windows uh, of Mi, Note Pro, Mi Notebook Pro. Okay, so this is the main menu. All right, once you hit the F2, you, if you're not able to do it on the first time, keep restarting your, 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 your laptop and keep smashing the F2 button until you get to this BIOS screen. Now, just a brief overview. Again, this is the Mi Notebook Pro. Okay, I have the technical specifications here, or the, the model TM1701, which is the, the right model for the Notebook Pro, and the uh, processor type, etc. all the specifications. I have 8 gig memory, as found in the settings in the Windows. Okay, you can also change your system time, okay, or your system date, but right now, I don't need to do that, okay? So, in security, you can also change the password, in user password, you can uh, the difference between super, supervisor and user password is that in the supervisor you can the access is everything. Okay, or user you can only view. Okay, you can also set up power on password if you need to secure your computer. Without this power power on password, they cannot open your computer. Okay, and of course a secure boot. Okay, I highly recommend you keep this on enabled so that whenever there are viruses that is trying to infect your boot sector. Uh, at least uh, there's a layer of security in it, okay? Now, for power, you can do wake on keyboard, keep it enabled, okay? I, that way, you, whenever you press the key, the computer or the laptop will turn on. And the panel on wake up, whenever you open, close the, the panel, this one, okay? You'll be able to turn on and turn off the computer, okay? And USB charge, there's a uh, mode S3, S4, and S5. Okay, maybe I'll share that in the next video. And the USB charge battery threshold. Now this is where we are going, the boot order. Okay, you have to click on this on the lower left, the boot. Okay, make sure you do boot mode UEFI. Okay, and USB boot up enabled. And this one, boot device order. Now currently my USB is already plugged in. Okay, and it's already on the number one priority. Now, if you want to move up and down of the priority, all you have to do is click on the arrows, okay? Or hold and drag, okay? Okay, hold uh, like this one, hold and drag. Now, the, if, you, if you want the higher priority, it should be on the top, okay? So, click on yes to save the boot order. Now, I normally do this twice just to make sure. Sometimes the system doesn't save it properly. Now, once you're done, that's it. All you have to do is press F10 or just click on save and exit. Okay, and the laptop will reboot on its own. And hopefully it will go to the BIOS or hopefully you will go to the installer window. Okay, so we'll just wait a while and let's see. Now if you're if if you, the first time it doesn't work for you, just try again. Sometimes it doesn't work. The laptop will not recognize the USB immediately. But uh, you know, it generally it should work on the first two tries. Okay, unless your USB is really defective. Okay, so we're waiting for the the boot up. Okay, the Mi logo is the usual start up the computer. So let's see what will happen. Okay, we're still waiting on this one. 
Now, um, I will post, post all the links down below and, of course, a written guide on, the, on how to, to do this step by step. It will, it will kind of may, may be more detailed and hopefully it will help you convert your Chinese windows to English one. Okay, so I already loaded up this one, uh, the USB. So you can see this is the Windows installation uh, program. Okay, so just choose your language. If you still want to do English or maybe Filipino or Chinese, if you want to go back Chinese or, you know, just set it up. Just For me, I usually use English in the United States. Okay, I press next and click install now. Okay. So it was uh, setting up. So hopefully nothing will be problematic. Okay. Uh, if you can also use your other USB installers, like other operating systems, but of course you have to take note of the product key. Okay, it should be be able to activate in the laptop. It should be a, either a retail Windows 10 key, or for our case, the Windows. 10 home for uh, English edition is the one that we're reinstalling this because it already has a license for for English uh, for the Windows Home. If you're going to use the Windows 10 Pro, uh, you have to plug in another license or if you if you know where to get a better key, you can use that and take advantage of the Windows 10 Pro. Okay? So why pay uh, you can get it for free? So anyway, this screen is the license terms and agreement just click on accept now sometimes you will be asked for the product key in, in your ISO okay but uh, for um, for this particular ISO it doesn't ask you but if, if it does just click on I don't have a key right now it will skip it it will allow you to install the windows now if you're able to choose as well for your windows operating system choose the windows 10 home not the windows 10 home single license or single language, choose Windows 10 Home. Now, our laptop, the Mi, the Mi Notebook Pro, is Windows 10 Home Chinese Edition. It's not a single license, a single language one. So I'm lucky enough, maybe I was able to activate, as I showed you in the previous video, so I'm trying to teach you how to do it. Okay? So which type of installation do you want? Uh, upgrade or custom? Okay, if you, I suggest you do custom, and you reformat all your files. Now, in this screen you can see that where there are four partitions okay system one two three four and the recovery image on the number four now i suggest you keep the recovery image okay uh, you can delete everything by pressing delete okay everything delete okay and make it uh, like a clean slate but for me i rather have a recovery image here now the recovery image probably contains the windows chinese uh, edition no? so just in case you want to go back to Chinese or you want to sell this one and you know let them use Chinese for that matter okay so but uh, generally you can delete the system partitions one two and three and it will ask you to create a new one and you can do it uh, again no? so just click on the, the, the proper fields okay um, again if you format it will delete all your data if you delete it will delete all your data so just be careful on that and make sure your, your your laptop is empty okay if it's your new laptop or or at least it's empty now i will not do reformatting today this is just for the video instruction because if i reformat i have to do everything all over again takes so much time now that's it okay i'll post another video maybe a third one on how to sh how to update your windows and maybe how to check if the drivers are loaded properly in the device managers and maybe show you how to update if necessary okay so if you like this video give us a thumbs up or subscribe and stay tuned for the next video i will have to quit this one okay so yeah okay. so that's it i'll leave it i'll, I'll leave it at this screen and let's see you in the next video bye bye